All right, let's begin on this Audi A8. Let me tell you, I had some problems with this, uh, finding the right tools for this. But let me show you what I had to do, because otherwise I'd have to order this. This is a Matco tool. So you know I spent $40 for this tool. Uh, and this is a 10 millimeter. The eight is too small, the eight millimeter is too small, and the 10 is too big. So what I, what I had to do is I had to deface my 10 millimeter and I had to make it into a nine. And I just used the grinder and ground it down. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, y'all. Uh, I made it into a nine, uh, or close at least. And I got it in there close enough and it fits. This is what it looks like inside. There is an eight millimeter, nine millimeter hex. You will not be able to do this job without this tool. So uh, uh, order ahead and get your, get a nine millimeter. They do sell them off the tool trucks. Uh, I just ended up grounding mine down because I had no other choice. But uh, you're gonna have to order one, a nine millimeter before you get your brake job done, okay? So go ahead and pre-order that now if you need it. Uh, so I got two of them out of there and they go out of these holes right here. There's little plastic clips, little plastic things that pop out of there. You just pop them both out and then you can access, you know, that, uh, that bolt. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and remove this, uh, this brake sensor. You just pull it right out. Not a real big deal. I just want to show you how you, uh, you know, you pry the, the screwdriver back so you can push those pistons in. That way you don't have to mess with no C-clamps or anything like that, or buy any C-clamps. Just do it that way, and you'll feel the pistons push in there, and uh, you'll be good to go. All right. <coughs> I'm trying to push that piston in as far as I can. Did you see it uh, move in? So we're good. And I should be able to remove this entire caliper now. So let me get that done. There's a piece of something, a piece of a brake pad right there. There's this noise right there. This is really bad. The side over here, this side's got a big groove in it. Look, that's like a spoon. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna get some new rotors on this side too. So let me get her done, y'all. All right, got these bolts removed and it pulls right out of there. And you see where the bolt's still in there, right? But I got this in my hand, so it goes in like that. Behind that, pull it on out of here. Lay it to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my bolts hanging up in there. Now to get this rotor off, you're going to have to take this torque bit off right here as well. It's going to be a, uh, a 27T, a T27 rather, on the rotor one, okay? So you're going to need a T27, you're also going to need a T40. A T40, and that T40 goes on this cover right here. That's the T40. That's the T27 right there for the rotor. So let me get that off. All right, when you take this rotor off, when you take that center pin out of there, the rotor might not come off right real easy. So just get a hammer and hit the back of the rotor and then it'll pop off and you can remove it, okay? It's not a big deal. All right, just a little bit. Just so I can get it clean. All right, that should be good enough. Go ahead and throw this back on there and let's put it back together again. All right, we're on, there, we're on the reassembly. Uh, go ahead and uh, put that torque in there. That's that T27, I believe. T27, install the rotor. Now let's go ahead and get the bracket on there. Let's get the bracket on there. Actually, we can do the pads right now. So let's pop these pads out. They go in two pistons right there. Let me show you some new pads. These new pads have clips on them like that. 
All right. So uh, these clips go into the uh, go into the pistons. Those are the pistons. When you push on the brake pedal, brake fluid fills up this cal this cavity and it pushes that piston out. And that way the pad squeeze against the rotor and stop your car. You let off the brake, it releases a little bit. Pushed on the brake, pressure is applied to the pistons, pushing them out, squeezing the brake pads against the rotor. And that's how that works. These are your pistons. This is just the opposite side of the caliper. It's a straight hole. Okay. So we're going to put these clips. See, they're different, right? These clips in the in the piston side actually I think I'm wrong I think these go into the piston side yes they pop in there okay this side goes on to the outside holes right there so I'll throw that in there like that I'm doing this one-handed y'all bam and there we go so we're good there right Let's go ahead and get our bracket back on here. We can put this back together again. All right, uh, Cal, I mean bracket time. So let's get the bracket back in there. All right, the bracket fits right over the rotor. You got two big bolts for the bracket. They're 22 millimeters, remember? 22 millimeters on that. Ah, tighten it up. Ah, tighten it up. Now, we should be able to, uh, I'm just going to spray these down just a little bit. With some hard cleaner. Not a real big deal on that. Make sure all the rust and stuff is off of it. And I should be able to slide these right into position. Just like that. Okay. Once you slide it in position, you're going to have to get your spring back on there. You know where that goes. That goes on the front of the caliper, right? It goes on front of the caliper like that. So go ahead and get that set. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera there and just pop it in there like that. It should hold fine. You get your spring. It's gonna have a little spring tension on it. So uh, it's got a lot of spring tension on it. You're gonna put your finger on that thing and push in at the same time and screw it in there. And believe it or not, y'all, that's about all she wrote right there. I'm gonna have to do that again because I gotta put this cover back on it. My fault. Let me do it again. All right, and that's a done deal, y'all. New sensors in there, new brake pads in there, new rotor, done deal. Everything is tight, tight, tight. Those two bolts in the back, the bracket two bolts are tight. That's a done deal. The spring is in the right position. Okay, spring is in the right position. Uh, now we're going to get it off of tow. And the brake so you're going to go into car systems. All right, you're gonna go into car. You're gonna hit the button. You're gonna go into car systems. I think it's this button right here. You're gonna go into vehicle settings. Push the button. We're gonna scroll down to towing. Push the button. You know, towing's on. So we're gonna turn the towing off and push the button and that's a done deal we're back to where we were before okay. let me shut off the car
know you. I don't know me. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? Hey, young lady. That's my wife. That's it? Peace to Miller. Mrs. Miller, how are you doing today? Fine. Good. We just got your Audi fixed up. We got her going. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, go ahead and pump up the brakes for me a couple times. It should get hard. Pump them up like 10 times. Let those uh, let those pistons push out a little bit. How do they feel, Pastor? Let me see. Oh, hold up. We got something in the front of the tires. You can't buy no tires today, Pastor. <laughs> All right. I'm sure you're fine. Everything looks good. You're back into non-towing. Good to go. All right, y'all, come and visit New Births uh, Fellowship down here in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Get your church on. All right, this will conclude the episode of the 2013 Audi uh, 4 Quattro. All right, we're out of here. Hey. Where those goaty woaties at? Where those goaty woaties? You see them? Where those goaty woaties at? Cleo, where the goaty woaties at? Where those goaty woaties at, Cleo? Yes, they're over there. Good boy, Ace. <coughs> we should go get a goaty woaty. <coughs> All right, everything is kind of childhood games with these dogs. Everything is like bird is a birdie wordy and a squirrel is a squirrely whirly and a doggy is a doggy woggy. So that's how I talk to my dog. So anyone that knows me know that's how it is. That's AC Wacy and that's Cleo Wheelo. <laughs> Cleo and Ace. AC Wacy and Cleo Wheelo. All right, guys, we out of here. Hayes Mobile Auto Repair. Jackson, Mississippi. Ace, we're going home. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, buddy.